Power PDF gives you the ability to rearrange, renumber, insert, and extract pages or split PDF files. This is particularly useful when creating and updating large PDF documents, like standard operating procedure documents, regulations, or technical manuals. Imagine a situation in which you're in charge of maintaining a user guide for a software application, and you need to periodically extract and insert updated content, such as headers and footers, watermarks, and even live links to the table of contents. PowerPDF lets you make dynamic updates to large living documents through the Pages and Document Assembly features, as we'll now explore. In our example, we'll use a large product guide in which a few changes need to be made. I've opened the document in PowerPDF. From the ribbon toolbar at the top, I'll select the Pages panel to display a panel of thumbnail images on each page in our document. By opening on the Pages panel, I can now view, move, and manage the pages in this document simply by dragging and dropping the thumbnails wherever I wish. Power PDF allows us to replace new content, such as inserting, extracting, or deleting pages from one document to another, while at the same time maintaining all the proper links to the table of contents throughout the entire document. Let's see how this is done. In our product guide, we've decided to insert a collection of confidential pages towards the back of the document. With the Home tab still selected, click Insert from the toolbar. The Open Document window displays. Locate the document containing the pages we want to insert, select it, and double-click, or you can just click Open. The Insert Pages dialog box appears and shows our source document in the window. For our example, we will select the default of all the pages in the document and we'll make sure that the pages are inserted after the last page in our product guide by making sure that After is listed in the Location pull-down menu. Click the OK button. The newly inserted content is now added to our file and is displayed in the Pages panel on the left. If we select the page containing our table of contents, you will see that the links have been updated and point to the newly inserted pages. We can replace any number of pages with any number of new pages, and the links to the subsequent chapters will remain live and accurate. Power PDF also provides what is called the Document Assembly View, where we aren't managing thumbnails, as with Pages View, but instead we're actually able to control the real content in the document. The Document Assembly View is also accessed from its icon located from the Home tab in the ribbon toolbar. Click the Document Assembly icon to display its view. Since we're actually viewing the real file pages here, we can add headers and footers, watermarks, stamps, or even place a sticky note or highlight content on all the pages. Another button on the Document Assembly toolbar is Page Assembly. This feature helps you avoid the need to open multiple instances of the program to insert select pages from another document. This lets us view a new document and drag and drop the desired pages into the target document. A wide variety of file types are supported because the conversion to PDF takes place when the document is selected. So for this example, we'll open an MS Word document within the Page Assembly view, and we'll see that it's converted into a PDF file that we can now add to our existing PDF file that's displayed in the Document Assembly view. Click on Page Assembly and navigate to the file you wish to add to this PDF. You will note that you must first change the file type to All Files to be able to view other file types. I will now select the Word file named Accident Description and a dialog box will pop up and give me the option to select a specific page or all pages. We can drag and drop specific pages from this document or we can add the entire document by holding the Shift key down and selecting All Pages to then drag and drop into our target document. As we can see, all of these toolbar options within Document Assembly are quite useful when working with our documents. Another way to initiate these actions, other than using the toolbar, is to right-click on the page in the document and select the same type of action to start the process from there. As you've seen, Document Assembly is a powerful tool that lets you preview all your pages right on the screen and assemble your documents as easily as shuffling pages on your desk.